Hey, tell me this. How was it when you found out I'm going home? I'm going back to the P to the P town. Like, and they had some players that waiting on you. Like, what yeah. like what was your level of excitement just to be getting a chance to be at the crib? Cause as, as dope as Toronto is, we know it still can be a hassle for family coming and going to the customs right. or whatever. But like, how was it for you? I mean, not just to be coming back to the States, but you going home. You right. going to the crib. How was right. that? Yeah, you know what? It was cool. <laughs> It's kind of funny though. So I get to Portland, right? And so, man, I'm like, I I got some characters on my team. <laughs> you had a yeah, man. You. I walk in. I don't think nobody had on the practice gear. Man, uh, Jr. had on a Fubu shirt. All <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, the Fubu. Man, man, she she had on a skull cap bent to the side. Yeah. You everything know, on backwards. Man, everything Cut up on backwards. All, yeah, of the, all of the practice man, gear. Yeah. Why did they call y'all the trailblaze? I mean, the jailblaze. Like, I saw she speaking on this the other day. I don't know if it was on a pod. Well, he was like, we never, nope, like, I, whatever. They called us this and that, but, like, nobody actually ever got arrested or went to jail. Like, what, no. did that, what, did, what was the original origin of that name? So, I think it was the times, and I think that, Speaking for me, like some of it I brought, you know, I brought, and then some of it I brought on myself. Mm -hmm. But what I would say is, is that as you fast forward to where we at in the world today, it was just, yeah, okay. Do you wish you can get those moments back? Of course. Mm -hmm. But man, the stuff that's going on today compared to back then, it was just like, we followed, we followed an era in Portland that was, that was, synonymous with excellence, so to speak. Right. You know, mm -hmm. you had, you know, Clyde Drexler, Terry Porter, you had those Duckworth. really good teams, Duckworth, Jerome Kersey, you know, dudes that I knew, and they were just totally different than us. Yeah, and so, and so, And so what happened is, is that as things changing, you know, you get different dudes. Dudes ain't, you know, we- Traditional as others. There it is. And so I think that that threw everybody off. I just think it threw everybody off. Mm -hmm. And I think that that us being in Portland, which is a which is a smaller city, you know All you can talk about. That's all you could talk about and you and everybody was living through and it was the only show yes. in town. And, and, I think you know, you know what I really think the jailblaze thing, because I got there on the, the back end of it. I felt like it was just a trend. It was a trending thing for the reporters and the media to just blame it all on the, the trailblazers. Uh, team instead of like embracing it like they was a good team. So what it made is players be rebellious towards the city and the media to be like, man, you know what? Fuck y'all. I don't care. I'm here to hoop. As soon as the season over, I'm out. And I think, and, and, and D-Miles, you make a great point. So what I think, what I think happened is, is that, you know, it was alienation on both sides, but yeah. nobody seen the big picture. Yeah. And so every time, every time they, Every time they, when I say they, the media, um, because I've talked to the media, yeah. you know, the same guys that was writing same stuff, and, and you know, yeah. and I, and and you know, we are right now, yeah. we are right, but it's because they can see a perspective that they didn't see back then, and mm -hmm. so my whole thing to them is that man, dudes got families, straight up, mm -hmm. dudes got kids, y'all writing like we killing people out straight here, up. and I was like, man, that's not cool, yeah. You know, I'm like, that's not cool, man. Like, you know, you making dudes not want to be here. Like y'all, like y'all, like y'all, like the way y'all view us in the city, the people on the outside love us. Yeah. So when you killing us, you actually killing the brand. You just don't know it. Yeah. We went on a stretch. I think it was like a month stretch. I got there and she was there for like a month. Right. The best team I ever played on in the NBA for that one month. We had Sheet at center, Zebo at the four. We was rolling. You and DA at the five. I yeah. think we won like nine out of 12 or something like that. Or we was and we beat top 10. Yep. To see She leave, because you know, when I got there, She was like, <laughs> be my out. I'm out this bitch. There's nothing they can do. Either they lose me for the money or they just let me go. And that's all he kept on saying the right. whole time I was there. But then he leaves and go and win a championship. Right. After, 
him leaving it and you seeing, you know, because you, you had this bond with she, because she's just such a good person. But seeing the wars that y'all went through before yeah. uh, with the Lakers and San Antonio and the Utahs and the Sacks and the Minnesotas or whatever, to she, see she leave there and win that championship, how was that for you to see that? all transpired, knowing the war that y'all right. went through, that y'all right. was just as good as these teams to win right. championship. I mean, I was happy for him. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, I was happy for him because by the time he left, they had cast him to be just this villainous guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, that's totally not who he is. That's one shit. You know, uh, and part of me, and I've told him this, I mean, I felt like I won one and he won one. You know, because when he got trapped, I never forget. I remember like it was yesterday, cause we, you know, he came to we live right by each other. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm damn near tearing up. Yeah. I played with dude for eight years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, people don't really like I played like this is one of my real friends. Right. Yeah. And so when I seen him get traded, I was like, man, it's one thing to talk about, man, it's over. But then it's like, nah, this really over. Right. Like, yeah. I was the last dude left, left from those teams. That's all I used to say. Like, man, I'm the last dude here. Last one here. The last one here. And so, you know, to see him win that title, like he deserved it. Yeah. He deserved every bit of it. And, you know, I think that like, it showed what he brought to the table. Yes. That's why I was happy to yes. him because he was kind of. Yes. He used to get overshadowed by Duncan and Weber and yep. and, and KG, yep. but he brought so much to the table that wasn't on the stat sheet. Yep. Nah, you know what no I'm saying? Question. No question. I think. And I was salty because I felt like that Detroit team was our team. Like they had all the rebounders. We had shooters. We had the point guard. Yeah, we, we had. When you see the makeup of their team, it was like the makeup of our right. team. Right, things had settled in. Like with, when you had got there, like it was, I remember it almost like it was yesterday because you came in midweek. Yeah. You came in like midweek, but <laughs> mid then it was, it was a couple other moves that we made. And so yeah. once the team settled in, like we was, we was rolling. And and crazy thing about it, it was always about that time when we started rolling as a team anyway. Yeah. We never started off fast right. for whatever yeah. reason. Right. I think one year we started off fast. Yeah. But, we were rolling and then he gets traded and then we get reef and then you're trying to rework somebody in. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to work dudes in, man. Yeah, it it just, it like just, you know what I'm saying? It just went all the way to the shit. Yeah, so after yeah, that, the just, next year came, it was just shit a shit yeah, storm after yeah, shit storm. Just, you know, and it's it's just, man, things is going. I think then D Miles on had surgery, Zebo had I'm surgery. Yep. Man, we was we was we was plugging in 10 day dudes and it was just, man, it got yeah, it got, it got crazy. It, 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 it just, you know, it is it, the NBA.